Okay, towards a healthier weight loss. Okay, this is my results. Okay, from 63, uh, 13 February 2020. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay, from 63, I managed to drop to 56.8 uh, within half a year. And this is how I managed to uh, I, I did some research and I try it and it helps me a lot. So today I'm going to share out uh, this experience with you. Okay, this is June 2019. You can see there's a tummy here. Okay, I'm, I'm not bluffing you. There's a tummy. And this is us uh, without a tummy after six months. Okay, so it's a gradual... Uh, weight loss program and it's very safe and it is not just for the weight loss it actually you will gain better health in fact uh, i have dropped off my high blood pressure medications after i go through this diet and the doctor says wow well, you are all good and no need to eat or no need to take the medication in fact i never take the medication i usually put on side okay but uh I, whenever i go back they will insist i take the medications but anyway i managed to kick off my western med uh, my my high blood pressure medications which is i'm very very happy okay this is me uh mind you this is without exercise i only jog once per once in two weeks okay i think once or twice in one month so that uh but uh because uh uh through the losing of fat i'm able to regain some muscles <laughs> okay, six packs. So that is a joy to me uh, to be able to see these results. Okay, and then I helped a few ladies in our group. Uh, this is Lily. She started at 63. I share my experience and, and guide them along. And after, uh, after, eh, after three months, after four weeks, okay, she dropped from 58, uh, 63 to 58. And she continued to work at rate and she is now at 54.7 uh, after three months. Okay, this is what she said. Hi, everyone. Uh, we have a group chat uh, uh, in our diet program. I have not weighed below 60 kilos for a long, long time. I had tried many diets, but not successful as most of the time I was hungry. This round, I do not feel hungry at all and eat healthier and manage my meal well. Maybe because I'm working from home. Since this weight loss program, I would like oh, okay, I would like to continue this program. Okay, anyway, so this is another lady, uh, one of our team members also, uh, Anna. Uh, she started off at sixty three point nine. Then after four weeks, she dropped to sixty one point two. Okay, after four weeks, uh, for one one month of program, and she continued to work, and she reached fifty seven point nine after three months okay and she continued to take the diets and this is what she said although i did not meet okay for during the one month uh, she said i if, although i did not meet my own target set below before the program below 60 kilo i still feel happy as i taken less unhealthy food these four weeks hope can maintain the eating habit and less uh, i'm uh, i'm able to achieve the weight before i get married okay I do not mind to give myself another one, two weeks. Okay, so he said that she said that she wanted to continue this diet. And she now uh, way, way below her way before her marriage day, her marriage uh, day. Okay. And this is uh, other ladies who join us. We got another ladies who also uh, have very good results, but uh, I didn't put it here. Anyway, okay. What, what is the technique or what is the key or the switch uh, to help us lose weight okay i put this a triangle uh, that's three point uh firstly how do we manage to burn fat okay uh, first first way of the first switch that you need to switch off okay first switch that you need to switch off is the choice of food uh, in order to burn fat you have to choose the right food to eat okay uh so the big fat word uh, it's not fat, okay? The big fat word is sugar, okay? In our diet, we have too much, too much sugar. And that's why uh, sugar is the culprit for our diet, okay? And sugar has many, many names, 
Okay, as long as you 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 go take a label, uh, the, they are hidden in one of these names. Uh, and I can tell most processed food. Any processed food you find on NTC shelf, uh, all the shelf uh, that is processed will have sugar, okay? Mostly. And through research, uh, sugar can affect your liver, okay? Can affect your kidney, even, even, even your brain. Of course, your obesity, your body, your skin, okay? You'll feel that after you cut down all the sugars, your skin will brighten up, okay? You will have less, less heart uh, issues, uh, even your joints. All these have report, okay? Uh, even for men, uh, this is called erectile dysfunction in men. So you can see sugar is such a, a something that really destroys our health. And after my research, I literally make up my mind to cut all kinds of sugars. And that's why I begin my diet journey. And through this, this is how uh, for many years, uh, 1990s to 2000 to 2017, you can see that the numbers keep going up. Our heart disease, cancer, uh, even diabetics, uh, all the numbers went up. Okay. Even though uh, our health board has been publicizing a certain health uh, uh, re regime, okay, you should eat this, you should not eat that, okay, they, but those information is outdated, okay, uh, those information is not accurate. And that's the reason why even though for the last 20 years, uh, we have been, I have not, I have been eating right, I feel that I have been eating right, I have not been eating a lot of high fat things. I, 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 I don't eat a lot of pork belly, but I still have high blood pressure. Okay. Uh, but the real issue is actually it's not fat. Okay. It's not the fat that we eat that's affecting us. It's the sugar that we eating that's affecting us. Okay. Why? Because when we eat high sugar food, okay. When I say high sugar, it also means, uh, uh, things make from flour. Any things that make from flour, okay, which also means uh, uh, when I say sugar, I also mean carbohydrates. Okay, sugar and carbohydrate is the same thing. All right, it's the same thing in processed food. Okay, when you think about uh, any processed food, noodles, biscuit, all these are uh, high processed food that is carbohydrate based. And sugar is the same thing. So you have to think that way. So when I say sugar, it means carbohydrate and sugar. So when we eat such high sugar con uh, food or high carbohydrate food, okay, we our sugar level in our blood will spike up. Okay, you went into because you're turning into simple sugar, okay, uh, because all these are broken down into very simple sugar and go into a bloodstream. Because it's simple, uh, you go into a bloodstream very fast. And that will cause a high glucose spike in our blood. And because of that, okay, we will have a feeling of very full. Okay, you will feel very lethargic. Okay, and you will feel great because you are full. But actually, it is not, it is a false signal. Why? When you're, there is a sugar spike yeah, or a glucose spike, your insulin will come in because the sugar in your blood is too, too much. Okay, too much sugar in our bloodstream is not good for our health. Okay, the, your blood will become very thick. And that's why they have to draw out the sugar. And our pancreas will, will secrete insulin to bring down the sugar level down. At that point, after two hours, okay, uh, you will feel the target. And suddenly, the, there is a glucose or crash. Okay, you will crash because of insulin release from our pancreas. Okay, you will crash. And then suddenly, two, three hours later, you feel hungry again. Uh, that, is the, that is the results of taking too much carbohydrates. When you take too much carbohydrates, they will have a glucose spike, and then they will have a glucose uh, crash. And that will make you hungry. You, the feeling of feeling hungry again. And then uh, you just imagine, you take sugary food or high carbohydrate food, okay, then you will sugar spike, and then your system will inject uh, insulin to make the sugar level drop. And then you feel hungry again. When you feel hungry again, you go and eat. 
And what do you eat? You eat all kinds of high carbohydrate food. And then the, this cycle go round and round and round and round. And that's the reason why after food, you crash, you feel two, three hours later, you feel hungry. And then you go up again, you go and eat. Then you come down again. Okay, let's say this is lunch. Two hours later, you have your tea break, another spike. Okay, after two, three hours, another go down, lunch, dinner time, you another meal, and then you have another spike. After before dinner, after dinner, before your bed, you have supper because you feel hungry again. And that's the reason we are all over it. Okay, when you cut down on carbohydrates, I can tell you, you will not have this. You will not feel hungry in between. Okay, if you fully cut off, you will not feel hungry. Uh, and you will feel that you will able to last you to the next meal. Okay, that's a fact because we have tried it so many times. Okay, okay sugar is the most easiest to burn. Okay. And protein is the second and fat is the third. Okay. In terms of fuel or micronutrients, this is how it works. Okay. So for protein, when we eat veggies and we eat uh, uh, meat, it actually will be burned as fuel, but at a slower rate and it can last longer. Okay. So when sugar is being drawn out, okay. Okay. Initially, okay. Initially, they were actually drawn out and they were actually pumped into our human cells for us to work. Okay, our, we are all, we are made out of cells, uh, uh, C-E-L-L. And because of cell that we have the energy to work. Okay, but when we have too much sugar coming out and our cell uh, is being filled already with a lot of sugar or glucose, uh, they can no longer hold. Okay, where does it go? the sugar, the energy has to go somewhere, okay? At this point, uh, the sugar will turn to fat, okay? In our fat cell, and then you, you accumulate, become our, our, our visceral fat. Uh, the thick layer of yellow fats in our system is visceral fat, and this is how we get our visceral fat. Okay, just like I mentioned, right, the, our, a lot of our health board, uh, even in Singapore, if we search under healthy food pyramids, this is what it, you'll come up with, all this pyramid. And all this pyramid, uh, heavily, uh, they will say carbohydrates. The carbohydrates is on the bottom. Okay, this is, mis this is misleading, okay? Uh, the reason why, because uh, this information uh, is learned over 20 years or 30 years ago. All these are misleading because uh, take, bring this out uh, in clear view. Uh, these carbohydrates, uh, the, the veggies, this pyramid is not accurate. Uh -huh. oh, you see this? Because carbohydrates turn to sugars, I see already, some of the fruits will turn to sugars, and then uh, all this ice cream will also sugars. So you have a lot of sugars in our system. Because uh, uh, there is a misconception, because uh, a lot of people, even the medical or health board uh, thought that uh, grain is good. Actually, grain is good. Uh, I'm not denying grain is not good. Okay, okay. But there is a misconception. Grain is grains. Uh, uh, flour is flour. Grain is not flour. Okay. Okay. When you grind the grains into flour, you actually break the structure of the the molecule structure of the grain, and they become flour. And flour can become uh, can uh, because flour is high in carbohydrates, it can enter our bloodstream very fast. If you look at grains, uh, uh, what is consists of grains? Uh, the grains that we are eating now is different from the grains that we were eating uh, many years ago. Okay, uh, many years ago, our grains are uh, in the Bible times. The grain is not the grains now. Okay, the grains now. Uh, this is a whole grain. Okay, a whole grain consists of endosperm, uh, brines, and uh, germs. Okay, okay, and those sperm is the carbohydrate, the white part. Okay, brines is the fiber, the hush, the, the outer layer, and then uh, there is the germ here. The germ is here. Okay, this is where all the proteins and healthy oil is. So, a grain uh, on its own is a very good, very good product for us to take, but because of modernizations, because of transportations, uh, this uh, germ here, uh, because of the oil it will actually spoil the grains. Uh, for transportations, because of high modernizations, we do a lot of trades, 
because of trades, okay, and because of uh, they need a high storage duration, a long storage durations, uh, they will have to get rid of all the fiber and all the germs that is uh, the oil that will make the grain spoil. Uh, that's why they're able to transport and keep them for a long, long time. The grains now that we are eating is not the grains that we we're eating last time. So grain is good. So that is the misconception. When we grind down everything uh, until a uh, white grain of our rice, if you look at the rice up on the top or the below the rice, there is a small chip off. Uh, the chip off is this. Okay, they actually chip it off. Okay, the white rice that we have uh, when we grind into flour uh, is mainly mainly carbohydrate. And we make use of this flour to make all kinds of noodles, make kind of breads, make kind of breads, la, noodles, la, pao, la, uh, biscuits. And that's the reason why all these will turn to sugar. Okay, all kinds of greens here will turn to uh, flour, different kind of flour. As long as it's grind down, uh, so a different kind of flour is all bad. Uh, generally, it's all bad. Okay, one slice of bread uh, is 20 grams of cup, which is five teaspoons of sugar. Okay, one slice of bread, five teaspoons of sugar. A cup of coffee now, sometimes I drink half teaspoon of sugar or one teaspoon. This is my whole day of drinking, one slice of bread is recovered. Okay, sometimes we, how many pieces of bread we eat in breakfast? Two pieces. Okay, that will be 10 teaspoons of sugar. A bowl of rice itself has 15, 15 teaspoons of sugar. All these data are all accurate, verified. You can go and check. Okay, that is how much sugar we are taking. And that's how much sugar we are putting into our bloodstream. And that's why we have the, the sugar spike glucose spike and then we feel very full and lethargic and then there's a sugar crash and we feel hungry again and that's why we are overeat and that's why we are growing fatter and fatter so why is flour bad as a reshare uh, most carbohydrate will turn into sugar in our bodies most products are uh, uh, came from uh, uh, from flour different kind of flour so we really have to modify our pyramids our food pyramids a healthy food pyramid is like this, okay? This is also from internet. So there's people who are advocating such diets and I'm one of them now, <laughs> okay? So vegetables, uh, after one year, uh, one, one year one year plus ago, when I begin my research and understand this, I changed my, my diet, okay? I changed my diet to, I don't like to eat veggie, you can ask my wife, okay? I'm a person who eat very little veggies, okay? Uh, eat a lot of rice, eat a lot of meats, and I grow fatter and fatter, fatter each year. And I do a lot of exercise, it never helps. Until I change to this diet, I eat 80% uh, veggies, or if not 100%, but now I keep to 80%, 20% meat, protein, uh, and 5% oil. I'm able to gain back my health, okay? So I am not saying that I need to be vegetarians, okay? Being a vegetarian, and if you are eating, you are being a vegetarian. Okay, we have a friend, a lady who joined us who is Indian and she's a vegetarian. And she ate a lot of grain also, white rice. And, and because of that, the weight doesn't come down. Okay, so now she is joining us to have a, a diet, going through a diet program with us. And you can see that her weight is coming down after one week, uh, abstaining from grain. Okay, so this is the pyramid then. I, I'm over overcating and and at the tip uh, put on the top is no sugar, really no sugar. I right? cut off all kinds of sugar. So rarely I'll take uh sugar drinks. Now I don't really take sugar drinks, okay? Only occasion, very, very rare occasion. Okay. So when I say uh, uh no sugar means all kinds of sugar drinks, uh, all kinds of processed flour products. It include white rice, bread, biscuit, pasta, quick. Kueh, all kind of kueh, and instant noodle, or any in or any noodle per se, uh, where we, we find in hawker. So it is can be quite tough, right? In Singapore context, can be quite tough. But if you have a will, uh, you will make the choice because this is regarding your health, okay? And in this book, okay, in this book is it says uh, uh, a wheat belly, okay? This this uh, doctor uh, who wrote uh, books mainly to teach people about the wheat that we eat now is different as I shared and the the bread 
uh, all the carbohydrates, all the wheat made products, byproducts, uh, when we eat them, you cause us to have a belly. Uh, this is the book, the focus of this book. And this is why it says uh, wheat belly diets, okay, food to eat. Okay, you see all these eggs, uh, all kind of food, but food to avoid, okay, all kind of processed food, okay, including pasta, biscuit, pasta, uh, burger, bread, pizza, even cereal, uh, even cereals, uh, of course, bread, uh, pastry, okay, nuggets, of course, sugar, and rice. Okay, here you go. Okay, so no sugar, no carbohydrate if you want to take on this diet. So this is the first switch to switch off. Okay, if you are cutting down on carbohydrates, okay, that is the first switch. Huh? You will slowly drop. But, okay, you need another thing to accelerate your carbohydrate because uh, even you cut down, cut down or cut off sugar uh, on carbohydrates, okay, uh, if you are not feeling hungry, whatever you eat is the amount you from my experience, it's the amount that I need to survive during the day. Uh, it is enough for me to not feel hungry, so I will not eat extra. But that only can maintain my weight. How can I burn fat? Okay, so I need to have the second switch. Okay, so first switch, you switch off sugar. Second switch, we switch on. Okay, switch on by what? Uh, switch on the by to switch on the fat burning mechanism. What is that? Okay. okay. This is called intermediate fasting. So when you heard intermediate fasting, a lot of you say, oh, don't want, I don't want fasting because it's, it's very difficult, right? Yes. Uh, but I must say, it is not difficult. Okay. You, you, you follow the methods that we do, it's not for them. We emphasize on 12 hour intermediate, oh no, inter, so not intermediate, it's intermittent, inter, Mid, oh, sorry, the spelling is wrong. In, it's called intermittent fasting. Okay, it's not intermediate. It's intermittent fasting. Okay, so uh, it's twelve hours. And how do we do it? Let's say if I'm eating the next morning at seven. Okay, so tonight after seven, I will not take any food. Okay, sleeping will be eight hours or more for me. Okay, uh, eating will be, sleeping will be so eight hours is handled because I sleep. I don't take food. I have four hours. So during these four hours, I don't take any food. Okay, at most I'll drink water. So this is already an intermittent faster. Isn't it easy? After dinner, don't take supper. That's simple as that. Okay, the switch to switch on this inter uh, intermittent fasting is to do not eat anything after your dinner. Do not take supper. Okay, you're able to switch on this fasting and during your sleep, you were able to go into a bad burning mechanism. Uh, uh, process. Okay, we have tried this. Uh. If you do that, you before you sleep, you go and weigh your weight. And after you sleep, next morning, you wake up, go to the toilet, come out, okay, go and weigh your weight. You see that you will drop in your weight at least uh, how many? 100 gram okay, per day, 100 gram. Average 100 to 100 to 150 gram. Okay, that's our experience. Okay, so so this is intermediate fasting, intermittent. So this is the correct spelling, yeah? intermittent fasting. Okay, for those who are interested in this topic, please go and read, go and Google search. There's a lot of reading materials uh, in our library. You can go and do your own reading. Okay, so uh, when we eat food, okay, uh, uh, when we eat food, uh, uh, we increase especially carbohydrates. We increase insulin, okay, and then you store the sugar in our livers and then produce fat in livers and also produce fat uh, as viscerous fat. Okay, when we fast, okay, no food, I mean fasting, okay, decrease in insulin, totally no insulin. Uh, we will draw out the sugars from our livers, from our, our viscerous fat, and then we will burn them off slowly. So if you really want to, in a way, shed off your viscerous fat, Intermittent fasting is the best way, okay? So you can see the weight from 64 down to 61. This is only four days, okay? Four days of intermittent fasting. How much it can drop? Okay, so the crucial point uh, that I'm going to emphasize is what to eat and when to eat, okay? Eat when, eat. okay, so the, the, the key uh, is really what to eat and when to eat. Eat whatever amount you want uh, without sugar or carbohydrate within 12 hours. 
that means from seven to seven, I just eat. If you your your meal is uh, eight to eight, up to you. If you can extend your intermittent fasting to fifteen hours, that is even better. Okay, that's even better. Okay, so the last point uh, for this bad burning, uh, if you want to shed your weight, is hmm, the crucial thing, probiotics. Okay, so probiotics is very important uh, in this diet program. Okay, because probiotic is the one that helps us to detox. Okay, it's also what I call the garbage cleaner to clean out, clean out the garbage from our bodies. Okay, there is a, a research done. Uh, this is from our website, uh, Atomy website. Oh no, this is from Atomy website, correct? Okay, uh, it says changes in our gut bacteria are being linked to obesity. Okay, this is a, a lab test. Okay, a lab test that's done by uh, many uh, professor. I, I actually I read a few books and it's from uh, uh, two of the pioneers. Okay, they are called Eric and Justine. Okay, I've forgotten to did I? I don't I don't have the picture here. Okay, anyway, uh, they actually done in they are the pioneer in this area of uh, microbiome. That means uh, bacteria, uh, the uh, good bacteria in our gut health. Okay? so what they find eh, they take uh, the microbiome, that means they take the bacteria from our, our feces uh, and then they implant, they take out the bacteria and then implant into uh, mice. Okay, these are twins, okay? Uh, they have the same genetic DNA, but one is fat, one is thin. So when they take from the fat twins, uh, the bacteria and then implant in the, the, the lean mice, uh, these mice are lab mice, and they are being kept in a germ-free environment. They raise up uh, rare these uh, mice from a germ-free environment, and they put into this uh, mice, uh, the mice become fat. Likewise, when they take from the bacteria from the lean between, okay, and put in the same group of mice, the mice remain as lean. So our bacteria in our gut health determine, uh, does determine whether we are fat or thin. Uh, that's the reason why I told a lot of people if you wanted to lose weight, um, probiotic is one of the important factor. Okay, uh, where does we get probiotics? Uh, we can get them from fermented food, sakura, uh, fermented veggie, kimchi, fermented veggies also, kefai, fermented milk, kombucha, fermented tea, miso, fermented soup, tampe, fermented bean. Uh, yogurt fermented milk. Okay, so all these have probiotics, but sometimes these probiotics, uh, you want to find good ones, might not be easy, yeah? and also they are not easily available. Okay, so what is a good substitute? A good substitute is a probiotic supplements. Okay, but uh, you really need to know the, the brand of probiotics that you choose so that it can benefit your diet program. But I'm quite sure Atomy Probiotics uh, has very good strains that can help with our diet. Okay, why I say that? Because I personally go through every strain uh, to find whether they have any, uh, they have any uh, good functions for, for shedding my fat. Okay, so out of these 13 strains, Atomy have 13 strains, out of these 13 strains, uh, Eight strains out of the thing can help us to reduce weight. So, do you feel that Atomic Probiotics is good? Absolutely good. Okay, that's why I love Atomic Probiotics. It help me to keep myself slim. So, this is one uh, one important factor of uh, our diet. Uh, two sachets per day is only one forty. It's not expensive. So, uh, what is on my plate? Uh, my plate every day I eat uh, fifty to seventy percent uh, veggies, ten to 50% uh, protein. Uh, there are days I eat more proteins, which is okay. Uh, and uh, 5 to 10% fat. Okay, some people will ask, then what about fat? Should I eat less fat uh, so that I want to lose weight? Is fat the key uh, for diet? Yes and no. Okay, uh, Fat is not the key. Fat is the key for diet program uh, for uh, uh, to shed weight, but 
uh, a lot of us are misled, okay? He says here, uh, a professor says, uh, uh, medical explain why eating fat will make you fat, okay? So eating fat will make you fat. There's already a lot of research done on this sugar will, okay? And it says here, uh, doc, by Dr. Heyman, uh, those who eat more fats compared to, to an identical amount of carbs burn over 100 times more calories a day. So you can see that there is a lot of research done. Eating fats don't make you fat. Okay, it's the sugar. Right? It's the sugar. But there is good fat and bad fat. So I'm going to touch on that. Okay. And another thing is eating more fats actually shut off your brain's hunger and craving center. Huh? So actually eating fats is good. But what kind of fat is the crucial uh, knowledge that we need to have? Okay. So uh, eating fat uh, can help us last to next meal. So by for me, now if I eat pork belly or any meat uh, that have high fat, I'm okay because I understand now. And even though I eat all this high fat stuff, after I understand this, I went for my medical checkup. As I say, I went for a medical checkup. All my readings are good compared to last time. And the doctor take me out from my high blood pressure. Think about that. Okay, so when we take a lot of high, high cholesterol, no, high cholesterol, high carbohydrate, that is the sugar spike, okay? The blue one, okay? Because this is a simple carbohydrate. Complex carbohydrates uh, refers to a vegetable because vegetables have also carbohydrates in them, okay? So when you have complex carbohydrates or you took them, it will go up and come down. But the green one is protein, huh? uh, protein and fat, huh? Will help us last the longest after eight hours. Okay, it will help, help us last the longest, and that's the reason why uh, I I don't uh, I'm not a vegetarian. Okay, and I'm glad that protein and fat can help me in my diet program, and that's the reason why uh, after we go through the, our diet program, the way that we eat, we don't, we don't feel hungry, we will stay full until the next meal, and that is the key to diet uh, diet. Are losing extra weight. So the big questions for what is what kind of fat? Okay, we should avoid trans fat. Okay, trans fat is the only fat that you should avoid. Uh, where can we find trans fat? Okay, trans fats are all in your processed food: hot dogs, sausages, uh, all kind of processed food, biscuits, uh, pastry, uh, all. As long as it's processed food, you will have to put trans fat. Do you know why? Okay, normal fats. For example, saturated fat, okay, or unsaturated fat, okay. In a natural form, this oil can spoil, okay. They will turn, they will oxidize, and they will turn bad. And the reason why the industries, the food industries, invented trans fat is because trans fat cannot go spoil. That means they are very stable, and that's the reason why processed food have to put trans fat. They need fats, isn't it? So they, 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 they through their own experiment, they invented trans fat. And then because it's so stable, they're able to put in our processed food so that the food will not spoil, okay? Other than all the, all the preservative, huh? they'll put this trans fat so that it will stable, it is stable. And that's the reason why by eating processed food, we will not, uh, we will not, able to avoid it taking trans fat, all kinds of trans fat. If you, a good, a good recently, okay, last few months, a good test of, for example, uh, peanut butter. Okay, why the peanut butter, most peanut butter is able to stay that way is because of trans fat. Because it's very stable, okay, the trans fat will not, the fat will not uh, come out from the food uh, uh, combined, okay, it's very stable. Okay, I realized that the uh, peanut butter from a good brand uh, that don't put trans fat, okay, they will stay there because they don't put artificial fat or they don't put any artificial thing in there. They are natural. They use peanut and then grind them. It itself, peanut have butter, got oil, okay? The oil will blend into the peanut butter. Okay, you put there for a while uh, through, there will be an oil on top. Ah, that's where because it will get separated because these are natural. And that's where the, the, the producer will put it there. The oil that is on the surface is because of the natural process. 
uh, the oil was separate from the peanut butter, okay? Because it cannot be homogeneous uh, forever. But trans fat can, okay? That is a clue for you to choose how to choose a good peanut butter. Okay, so trans fat, no good. Saturated fat, especially coconut oil and some from our natural source, uh, from the, the animal's fat is actually good. There is more research coming out now to state that natural fat, saturated fat is actually good for health, okay? Uh, in the last five years, all this report has started coming out, okay? And then the, others, the other one that we already know, the unsaturated fat from our uh, other sources like olive oil. I would say uh, olive oil, recommended peanut oil, sesame oil, all these avocado, all nuts are good. Uh, there is some controversy on corn oil, all the oil that is derived from seed, okay? If you are interested, go and do your research. But I will, I will stop here because you, you will, there will be too much to share. Okay, so uh, what I will say is, uh, love your unsaturated fat. Uh, you can take some uh, saturated fat, okay? A small amount, 5 10% is actually okay, okay? Don't take any trans fat, okay? All your processed food, dump that away. They are all junk. Okay, so I'm not going too much into detail, but uh, this will tell us uh, unsaturated fat uh, come from all these sources, uh, monosaccharide fat, monosaturated, polyunsaturated, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So saturated fat come from our animals and trans fat come from our artificial processed food. Okay, these are all artificial, which is not good. Uh, a piece of meat uh, is made up of not just protein. Uh, a lot of people say that uh, I, I told them to take some fat. This is all. Uh, uh, they eat a lot of fat because they eat meat. But meat is not fat. Uh. Meat is uh, more fat, more protein than fat. Okay. Uh, meat has 26 grams of protein, 7.6 grams of fat. Okay, so when we talk about fat, we actually refer to the fat in a piece of meat, not the protein. Because I do believe uh, a high meat uh, eater, you are taking a lot of protein as well. So that amount of protein actually is not good. Okay, But uh, that is for another lesson. Uh, we will not touch this. So the key point is, what to eat and when to eat. Eat whatever amounts you want without sugar or carbohydrates within 12 hours. That is our key. Eh? Uh, eat more fats but less meal. Okay? The, the fat, eh, when I say uh, choose meat that has some fats in them, is okay. It will help you to last to the next meal. Uh, for example, for me, my breakfast, I take fish oil. And that's about it. Uh, with my coffee, uh, I'm able to last for three, four hours. Uh, before I take my uh, lunch, okay? So this is how I, I do. Uh, uh, this, okay, this I'm sharing on this, my how I eat. Uh. Morning, two eggs, coffee, fish, and a spray now, okay? Fish oil I already shared. Uh, you replenish, help me to able to last to next meal. Uh, spray now because I do feel that uh, the choices I have uh, in Singapore, the green veggies are uh, very uh, little healthy green veggies because there's a lot of uh, insecticides in them. Okay, so uh, to replace that, okay, I actually eat uh, spirulina and with two egg proteins. But saying that, uh, now I seldom take egg because uh, two fish oil and a cup of coffee and spirulina is good enough for me for my breakfast. And then uh, I will go to a mixed veg rice. I'll choose two veg, one protein or a bit of fat, two veg, one protein or one cup, natural cup, which is like potato or a pumpkin or I choose three veg, uh, three veg, one protein. Uh, if, when I cut down to my ideal weight, uh, sometimes I will take some cup, okay? I will choose brown rice or potato or pumpkin. So that is a cup that I'm referring to, okay? Don't take white rice, don't take white rice, okay? Brown rice, because brown rice still have some fiber in there. And that is where your sugar will not go into your bloodstream very fast. Okay, that is another lesson because the fiber in our brown rice is able to slow down the releasing of sugar into our blood. Okay, okay so protein are, are, are from meat. Okay, dinner, almost the same. And supper, I just take my two probiotics. Okay, that's how I do. And it takes a lot of fruits, berries, nuts, dark chocolates, drink lots of water. Uh, that's what I would recommend. 
Okay, dark chocolates, all these are goods, okay? So this is how I eat for many days. And because I eat like this, uh, without rice, I will still feel full, but I won't feel the lethargic. Okay, I don't feel sleepy. And you're able to last still the next meal. That's, that's the wonder, okay? That's how I have been eating. Uh, but though, of course, it's a challenge if you don't like vegetables and you don't like mixed veg rice. In Singapore or in the Western world, actually, there's a lot, uh, very few choice if you want to skip carbo. Uh, so uh, cooking at home, if you have a choice, you can do that, okay? Skip carbo. Uh, outside mixed veg rice, right? the other one is yong tau fu. Yong tau fu, also you can choose uh, those that is not processed, natural, like uh, fish, uh, some veggies here and there, it's good, okay? Because so once you reach your ideal weight, you can have cheat day. That's how I teach my people. Uh, per week, I can two, three days break this rule, take some cup, uh, feast with my friend, it's okay. But you must come back to this diet again, okay? And if you want to celebrate, a lot of my friends, there's one friend who says, that, oh, I want to celebrate. And she go and feast on uh, fried rice, la, all this uh, fried noodle. So I said, why don't you go and why don't you go and celebrate with a spring chicken, a roast chicken, go to Swenson or go to Jackson, Jack's place for a good steak, right? Don't, don't celebrate with fried rice, me goreng, uh, pasta, cakes, quay, all this stuff. Don't celebrate with this. Choose once in a while, have high meat content, it is okay. Okay. Right? On top of that, because we are taking our probiotics, it is quite safe. Okay, you are not having a lot, you won't have you won't develop a lot of health issue. Only once in a while for celebrating, we can have a lot of meat. It is okay. Oh, I'm not asking you to eat meat every day. Huh? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. So if you feast, if I feast too much, what can I do? Okay. Uh, then I'll teach you some tips. If we every day feast, what can you do? Okay. Then you can use uh, something like enzyme. Okay, enzyme is very good because enzyme can break down your your fats, uh, you can break down your proteins to make them into a smaller pieces so that our body is able to digest them faster and more efficient. Thus, releasing your bodies from being overworked. So enzyme is very important, okay? Enzyme has this function. So I, I told you, you see at this chart, uh, uh, this is uh, the enzymes from our mouth all the way to our uh, pancreas to our intestine and to our large intestine. Uh, through the journey, uh, a lot of enzyme is being secreted. And the enzymes is going to break down starch, uh, saturated fat, proteins, unsaturated fat, all this. Okay? Especially when it comes down to our uh, stomach, our pancreas, uh, will, uh, no, after our stomach, our pancreas will able to uh, release all this enzyme to break down all the food. Okay? to their small particles. Okay, so enzyme is very, very important. Okay, you can make them, okay, through all these things, go do a Google search. But if you are lazy, you can choose Atomy Finezyme. Okay, Atomy Finezyme is a wonderful uh, product uh, for those who want to re keep their weight down. Okay, uh, by, because I already shared, okay, it is able to break down your food faster and releasing your bodies from overworking. More than that, okay, uh, it also have other vitamins, okay, in here and coenzyme, okay. So all these will work together uh, to bring you a healthier gut. And you look at the enzyme in our uh, finezyme, okay, all the different enzyme here and all the functions to break down different kind of food, pro hyperbaric protein, fats and fibers, that toss, okay. The other thing, okay, the other thing about our fine zyme, which is not here, you see here, bromelain, okay? Bromelain is the one of the best, uh, how should I say, uh, enzyme uh, to help us uh, break down our food. Not just that, okay? Uh, for example, sometimes we have cough, okay? We have a lot of phlegm due to cough. Bromelain is able to break down the phlegm, okay? So I always tell people, if you have cough and there's a lot of phlegm, take a bit of our fine zyme, okay? Don't have to finish everything. Just take a bit and then you will actually dissolve the phlegm, 
okay, after a while the flame will come back again they take a bit again so don't, don't finish in one go okay so it will help to control your flame and you will recover from your cough faster okay this is a side tip for you okay other than the enzymes what is good uh, you can take poor cha okay poor cha is a poor tea sorry poor tea is a good uh, another uh, beverages that is very good for us to break down our oil and help us to uh, clear off the unwanted oil that is accumulated in our gut health, in our gut, uh, our large intestine. And it says here uh, from research, uh, uh, see here, it says uh, poor tea uh, is found, uh, uh, poor tea found to help lose weight lower cholesterol and regular blood sugar level okay so it also no ability to burn fat and shed pounds by helping our body to metabol uh, metabolize fat okay so you go poor cha is very good so do we have poor cha in 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 atomy yes huh? okay we can use uh, make use our poor cha for for such purpose okay this is also from another website in chinese huh? it says that uh this uh, poor tea, uh, sorry, poor tea, uh, is able to help uh, help to fight uh, disease. Uh, for example, killing uh, bad bacteria, uh, and help to uh, resist bad bacteria from growing. Okay, so uh, it is also very good in terms of gut health. Okay, so we have both items in our Atomy uh, shopping platform. Okay, so this is. What more about our atomy uh, poor tea? This poor tea is not ordinary poor tea. Okay, why? Because one sachet like this has 34 cups of uh, lactic acid. Okay, that's the reason why our poor our poor tea is not uh, in the uh, food food or beverages uh, category. It's actually in health or beauty. If I'm not I can't remember which one, health or beauty. It's because it's not marketed as just a drink. Okay, it's marketed as a diet tea. Okay, so it's, and because of that, uh, we have a high concentrated of 34 cups of let, let sit, uh, let leak, gallic acid, sorry, gallic acid. Okay, so this is very good for our diet. So you also can make use of our poor key for to help us to control our weight now the other one that has also a function of uh, our diet uh, is we call spirulina okay spirulina also have this function you see here it says supporting weight loss so spirulina is not just green food okay it actually has high in protein and it has this uh, okay, this is able to help us to detox heavy metal. Uh, this is the reason why yeah, I, I, I take yeah. spirina. So spirina is good for detoxification uh, of heavy metal at the same time helping us to weight loss. And this is the reason why I choose I, I take spirina in the morning. Okay, and we also have spirina in our shopping mall. Okay, so these are the three function food and uh, uh, additional food that we can take uh, uh, on top of our probiotics. Okay, on top of our probiotics. So how much does okay if you go for any weight loss program? Okay, if you take all kind of spill, uh, you go for your your join a gym for your workout, all this, uh, even for diet tea, uh, milkshake. Okay, you have know a certain company who do milkshakes for diet program or even creams for you to apply even gadget for you to burn fat all this cost money isn't it okay all this cost money and some program cost you thousands of dollars okay so my, my point is uh, you no matter what you're going to spend okay why don't you choose a choice not just help you to lose weight but also to gain health okay so that is the, the reason why I say that is all this sustainable because once you stop to take this milkshake your weight will come back okay or you start to do all this cream all this gadget uh, exercise your weight will come back is this sustainable okay for me 
sustainable means it has to be in my lifestyle. The best way is through our food, okay? And through the supplements that we have. It can be in our lifestyle. And that's the reason why I said then it can be sustainable. And if you, I calculate all the monies that I need to spend, uh, uh, including uh, poor tea and our uh, fine zyme, I only spend how much per day? $6.51. If I'm going for a, a tower program, if I take fine enzyme and poor tea, it's only $6.51. And in 30 days, I'm able to shed a lot of pounds. Huh? It only cost me how much? 195 I think. Okay, I cannot see because I'm, I'm, my, 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 my tab is being blocked. So you can see, no matter how I'm going to spend, okay, if I spend on functional food, okay, I'm able to shed weight and also gain health. Okay, so this is more sustainable. And if I wanted to maintain my weight, if I take away uh, fine enzyme or poor tea because I, I don't, I'm not feasting, I'm not, I don't like that, then I can tell you the whole cost is only $1 plus. Okay, you see here, uh, $1 plus. $1 plus. Okay, $1, if I take only the probiotic, it's $130. Plus my spirina, which I'm taking, uh, uh, 140, 180. Okay, that is the cost, 170 per, 170, 180 per day. Okay, so this is how i able to maintain my weight. Okay, for those who are lazy and you want to find some meal replacement, then you can choose Atomy Balanced Life. Okay, it has all kinds of vitamins and enough, uh, it's pre-calculated, enough energy for you to last to last you and not overeat. So if you're lazy and you don't want to go through such programs, you can choose our uh, a meal replacement, okay? Which this meal replacement have 11 kinds of grains, four kinds of vegetables, okay? You can follow our website, okay? Uh, go through the program on your own. Uh, uh, to maintain weight, uh, you eat like this, okay? Replace one meal. For healthy weight loss, you replace two meal, okay? Uh, if you want, uh, you can replace one meal or two meal. Okay, up to you. Okay, if you want to gain weight, can eat more pack because there's high protein in there. So you can choose that if you want. Okay, okay. But for those who use the diet program and then you have lose weight and then once in a while when you are very busy and you cannot find a good choice of food, you can use our meal replacement as a replacement. Okay, you still eat normally only once in a while you are strangled with the choice of food because you cannot try find. Then you can use this, put one in your bag. And then when you really cannot find any good source of food, then you can take this as a replacement. This is also a very good choice. Okay, so I'm going to end my sharing here.